Hey guys, in this video, we'll see how to use Apache Kafka. We'll go to the Apache Kafka downloads, search for the latest binary downloads, which is this in our case, and let's click on this link. This opens a new web page, and here we click on this link, and let's download in our machine. Extract the folder which you just downloaded, and open that folder inside your terminal. So in my case, it's under downloads. So we can see here downloads in Kafka. We will follow this strategy where we'll open two terminals. In one of the terminal, we'll start the zookeeper and in another terminal, we'll start the Kafka broker. Let's start the zookeeper in the first terminal using the command here. So basically, Zookeeper is used to track the status of nodes in the Kafka cluster and maintain a list of Kafka topics and messages. Let's start the Kafka broker using this command. So basically, a Kafka broker has unique ID and they contain the topic log partitions. And in terms of the big picture, a Kafka cluster is made up of multiple Kafka brokers. As of now, we have two different terminals which are running Kafka Broker as well as the Zookeeper. And these two terminals should be kept open till the end of the demo. Let's create a topic using the command here. So this basically creates the topic, test create topic. And it says in the console, created topic. In general, Kafka produces events across different machines. So these events are organized and stored inside the topics. Now let's verify the topic we created previously. Does it exist in our system? So we use this script which says, hey, give us the list of the topics. And yes, we can see our topic exists. For this demo, we are going to stick with test topic. In this phase, now we are going to create a Kafka producer in Java and as the name suggests, producer is something which produces the events to the Kafka broker. We are also going to create a Kafka consumer again in Java. So and as the name again suggests, consumer is something which consumes the events which are sent out by the broker or which are sent out by the producer to the broker. We will be making use of Eclipse IDE for creating consumer and producer. Let's open the Eclipse IDE and click on the file. Go to the new and select the Maven project. Click on the create a simple project and go to next. Mention your group ID, then artifact ID and click on the finish button. Next, we need to open the POM XML for adding the dependencies. In our case, we have three dependencies, Kafka client, SLF4j API and SLF4j simple. After mentioning these dependencies, just right click on Maven and update the project. You can also head over to the Maven repository, search for your package and then choose the Maven and copy paste in your POM XML. We should see here the dependencies inside our folder Maven dependencies. Let's create a new class for the Kafka producer. This is how our Kafka producer file looks like. So we have a properties instance wherein we put some properties. The first property bootstrap.servers is your local server host and port, which is local host 1992 in our case. The next property is the key serializer, which is used for sending the serialized key over the network, followed by the property value serializer, which is used for sending the serialized value over the network. The last property which we mention is the Kafka topic, and if we recall, we specified we will be using test topic. Next, we create a instance of Kafka producer and 
pass in the properties which we bundle up together. We run an infinite loop in which we create a producer record. So this producer record basically is used by the Kafka producer to send the data over to the Kafka broker. So in short, Kafka producer can only send producer records to the broker. And this producer record comprises of first the topic on which the message is to be sent, the key which has to be sent and the value of the message which has to be sent. And this loop runs after every three seconds. Anything inside Java which has to be run should be invoked from the main method. So hence we create a new class called as Kafka producer runner. And here inside the main method, we call the instance of sample producer. Now moving on to the consumer, we create a new class called a sample consumer. And here we also put the properties. The first property bootstrap servers is the same server in which we are pointing to, which is localhost 1992 in our case. The next property is the topic on which we are consuming from, which is test topic in our case. The next properties are key deserializer and value deserializers. If we recall correctly, from the producer side, we sent in the key serializer and value serializer. So the producer sends over a serialized message to the broker, whereas on the consumer side, we need to deserialize the message, the key as well as the value from the broker. So that is done using the string deserializers. Finally, we put a group ID property, which is required for the consumer side. Next, we create an instance of Kafka consumer and pass in the properties which we created above. And this consumer basically subscribe to a particular topic, which is Kafka topic and which we have mentioned in the properties here. We again have an infinite loop here and where the consumer polls the record at every 100 millisecond and we get the result in the form of consumer records. If we recall correctly, Kafka producer sends the records as a producer record, whereas the consumer receives the record in the form of consumer records. At last, we extract the record out of this group of records and we print in the partition, offset, key and the value. We will follow the same convention as we use for producer and we'll create another class called as Kafka consumer runner. So in this class, we have a main method, which will invoke the sample consumer. Let's run the Kafka producer first. So we click on the screen button and we run the Kafka producer runner. So we see that, hey, Kafka producer in Java, it is producing the events. Let's now run the Kafka consumer by clicking on this button and running the Kafka consumer. So we can see here that after every three seconds, we are receiving messages. And since we are printing the partition, the offset, the record, sorry, the key and the value itself. So if we recall again, we see that the producer produces events every three seconds by sending as test topic, key and value. And here in the consumer, we receive it as a consumer record and we print the data from that record itself. That's it from this video guys. Source code and article links are mentioned in the description below. And thanks guys for watching.